Hi, this is Cheryl Thrash, and I'm here today to give you some instructions about how to set up your online learning account with North Star Digital Literacy. So your transition instructor has sent you an email inviting you to join North Star Digital Literacy. You may need to check your spam folder to see if it might be hiding there if you don't see it immediately. But your email is going to look something like this. You'll see that there are a variety of videos that you can watch to help introduce you to North Star Digital Literacy. But for right now, we are going to uh, follow the link here to accept the invitation to set up an account. When you click on that link, it's going to say your learner membership is activated and it's gonna ask you to set up a password. So the first thing you'll need to do is put in a password that's at least eight characters long and that includes a capital letter, a lowercase letter, and then some other kind of special character like underscore or period. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll get back with you in just a moment. Okay, now that I have uh, set up my password, I need to log in to get started. So we're going to log in and I'm going to use the uh, email that I just set up to log in. Okay, the next thing that happens after we get signed in is that we are asked, where are you? Uh, typically, if we are on campus, you would click, yes, I'm on campus. But if, since you are not on campus right now, you want to click the option that says, no, I am somewhere else. Um, this is important for our record keeping. Um, certain things that are available to you on campus are not available to you off campus. Uh, certain kinds of testing uh, certifications are simply not available off campus at this point. So you'll see at the top of your page, it says that we are on your dashboard and this is your sort of uh, home base for all of your North Star online learning uh, when you're assigned into your account. The first step in proceeding with North Star is to take a digital literacy assessment test. And we're gonna start with basic computer skills. You can see that this screen tells me that I have not completed an assessment yet. And so I don't have any records to access yet. The way I'm going to get to the actual test to take it is to go hover over my name and click on it. And you'll see it gives me the option of going to the North Star homepage. So we're gonna go there now. Some of you may be realizing that you've seen this page before. Perhaps you have completed some portion of the North Star training in the classroom or in the computer lab on campus. And if that's the case, you need to contact your transition instructor to find out uh, where you are in the process. Have you already passed some of the assessments? And if so, uh, we'll try to set you up with some additional training that you can do uh, following the steps that will be provided in the next video. If you are, however, new to North Star or have not finished the first module or you know that you didn't pass the first module the first time you attended, attempted it, then this is where you want to begin. Uh, you can scroll down the page and you'll see that there is an introductory video that you can watch. Uh, we're going to skip that for now. There is a list of all of the uh, assessments that are available to you. These are all areas where you can demonstrate competency, where you can learn the skills and then show that you know the skills by taking the assessments. And then we can print off a certificate to show your progress, to show that you know uh, these particular computer skills. Where, uh, if you continue scrolling down, you'll see there's a place to enter the location code. If we were on campus, we would be doing that. Uh, and you would also have the option to take this as a proctored test. The test must be proctored in order for you to get that all important certificate. So for now, while we're not on campus, you're simply going to be practicing your skills and practicing the assessments so that when we come back onto campus, you'll be able to take the assessments and be ready to pass right off the bat. So today we're going to start by going to the basic computer skills. That's the very first skill in the very first box all the way over to the left and click on that. The first screen that you come to asks, do you hear music? Well, we don't hear anything yet, so I'm going to click play. <laughs> I can hear the music through my computer speakers. You need to make sure that you can hear the music before you proceed, either by attaching earbuds or headphones or through your computer screen, uh, unmuting the computer screen if you need to. 
uh, in order to hear the music because some of the questions that you're going to come across are going to be audio questions. So you need to be able to hear before you proceed. Um, if you need trouble, help troubleshooting that, let us know and we'll see what we can do. Uh, if you can hear the music, however, go ahead and click on next. Let's take a minute to look at how this assessment works. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to encounter is a quick video that describes how the test works. We're going to skip that for now, but I highly encourage you to watch that. Otherwise, you might have some difficulty navigating the assessment. All right, once you've watched the video, you'll come to the actual test. You'll see that it's going to be 38 questions long. And I'm just going to begin to pretend to start so that you can see how this works a little bit. Click on the desktop computer. Okay, as you can tell, one of these questions is an audio question, so you need to know uh, what the desktop computer is. You need to be able to hear the question in order to answer it. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the, um, the tools that you have available to you so that you would know how to navigate the test. The first one is this one. If you wanted to hear that audio over again, you can click on this button to hear it over again. Click on the desktop computer. Also, if you are working through the test and you realize as you get further down to question number 10 or whatever, and you realize, oh my goodness, by answering that question, I realize I answered a previous question incorrectly, you can bring up a list of all the questions by simply clicking on this menu icon here. So you can move back and forth within the test uh, until you get to the very, very end, okay? It's actually telling me that I can't go forward yet. So I'm gonna pause here for just a minute and work my way through the test and then I'll catch up with you in just a moment. Okay, when you get to the end of the assessment, you'll see the question will ask, are you finished? Um, and you'll notice that it gives you a list of any unanswered questions because for the purposes of demonstration, I clicked through a lot of these uh, questions with an I don't know answer just to get to the end for this demonstration, uh, I have a lot of questions that are unanswered. So you may want to go back and revisit those simply by clicking on them to see if you can remember how to answer those questions. Do try your best on the exam uh, so that you won't be unnecessarily working on practice material that uh, or on things that you already know. Um, but I'm gonna click on Submit Answers now. And you'll see that because I skipped so many questions, I didn't do so great. Um, so I only passed 55.6% of the questions correctly. In order to pass the assessment, you need to get 85% or better of the questions correct. You'll see that there is a list of all the questions that I answered correctly, and then there's a list of the questions that I answered incorrectly. Uh, if I had passed the exam, there would be more options over here other than just to print the results. Uh, if you want to print the results, feel free to do so. I'm not going to do that now. So um, this is our results page. You'll see that there are still some other tabs that are open. So I can go back to the North Star homepage at this point, and I can also toggle, use the, uh, my login here to toggle back to my dashboard. This is, uh, the page that I'm currently on is that homepage, which is where you take the test. But we want to, sh to look at how to practice learning the skills that we need to learn in order to uh, pass the assessment. And so we're going to the North Star Online Learning. Make sure that when you're working on North Star that you do sign yourself in. This is how we keep track of what you're doing in the North Star system. Here. If you don't see your name here, then you need to stop and sign in so that we will have a record of your progress. So we're going to go back to the dashboard and you'll see now that the dashboard shows that I have actually taken the assessment and that I made 55.6% uh, progress, that I've mastered that percentage of the skills. So now that we have an assessment to work with, I'm gonna click on details to go to the training materials. Um, you'll see that uh, the, there are three tabs across the bottom of the page. One says practice, and you can practice any of these skills at any time using this page. Uh, if you click on the standards tab, it gives sort of an itemized list of all of the various uh, skills that you're supposed to know 
in order to pass this first module. You'll see that the questions that I got incorrectly are marked with a red X and that the questions that I got correct are marked with a green check mark. Notice in the right hand column that there's practice material available for all of this, both for the questions that I answered correctly and the ones that I answered incorrectly. Okay, so if I wanted to practice the skills that I missed on the exam, I could simply click on the practice uh, icon and go straight there. You can also start practicing by choosing the start practice uh, feature at the top of the page, and this will work you through the various practices uh, sequentially. Uh, you don't have to come back to this page every time you want to move on to the next section. You can also see the results of your test by clicking on assessment history because as uh, my pretend student Barbara, I've only attempted this test one time, only one attempt shows up. However, if you've taken the test more than once, more than one result will show up here. You can click on there and it will bring up that same results page that we saw a minute ago. Notice that it is making sure that we understand that this was not a proctored attempt at the test. What that means is that you didn't take the test on campus being observed by a proctor and therefore your results are not eligible to be considered for a, um, a certificate. Okay, so I'm going to go back uh, to the online learning tab that's still open here to show you how the practice works really quickly. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to go to the start practice button this time. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to start me off with the, the skills that I need to know, your basic computer skills, getting started. Okay, so you'll see- You are probably you sitting here. in front of a computer right now, but what exactly is it? And what can you do with it? You can see that it immediately started. What is a computer? For us. I went ahead and a computer that. is a machine oh, for communicating yes. with people. Go forward with this, you'll see that there's an additional video. There are several watch. kinds you of computers. More about how the computer Desk. works. You get to the very end of this. Okay. What is this? And it's going to ask Choose you. Choose the correct okay, word. What you know. So what is the correct word? Okay. It's asking you, what is this? And so you're going to choose your answers here. I'm going to click, I don't know. Okay. What is the arrow pointing to? What is the arrow point? What when is this button usually? This quick quiz. You'll see that it tells me that I have some answers that were not correct. Well, no surprise there since I didn't really answer them. And if I open my menu over here on the right side, it will show me that I have not answered all the review questions correctly. In fact, because I just zoomed through the videos and so forth and didn't really watch them, it's giving me that red exclamation point to indicate that I haven't really completed this practice. So <clears throat> in order to complete the practice for each section, uh, you want to watch all the materials and you'll want to answer all of the review questions. And you can go back and do that multiple times. Then if you scroll down, you'll see that it's going to give us a lot more material another section, some more review questions and so forth, until I have finished practicing all of the parts that I missed on the assessment, okay? At that point, you can go back and take the assessment again after you've finished with all the practice. However, um, be aware that you will not be able to just continue taking the test over and over and over again uh, without doing the practice uh, and without do making any progress. First of all, it's only gonna let you once or maybe twice per day. Uh, North Star says you're able to take it twice a day, but every time I've tried to go back and take it a second time within a 24 hour period, it's always told me, oh, you've already taken the assessment, you can't do it again. So that may be what you run into. You may have to finish the practice on one day and then sign in again and try the test again the next day. All right, so let's go back to our dashboard really quickly. And I want to go all the way back to the dashboard, not just to the basic computer skills one. And you'll see that there are modules uh, for each one of the assessments. Uh, the 
The bad news is that there is no practice materials available for the internet, the email, etc. The only practice materials that are automatically linked to your dashboard are the ones associated with the basic computer skills. So if you have already passed the basic computer skills test, um, then you will need to go on to the next video to find out how you can be working on your computer skills during this uh, COVID-19 time uh, and being ready to take the assessments when you get back on campus.